Tale of the Dragon. Here we go. Okay, I know my channel is right on Mina, and it was meant to promote rides in and around Mina, Arkansas. However, I think every person that rides knows about Tale of the Dragon over there in Tennessee and North Carolina. Just July 4th, about four days after I retired this year, we went on a ride out there and met some friends that coming down from New Hampshire. You see them in front of me now. They had never ridden the dragon before. This is their first time, and they wanted to check off their item on the bucket list. For Melissa and I, this was the second time we'd done it. And every time we go, and it happened again this time as well, it rained on us. Uh, it seems like every time we go, there's some sort of uh, hurricane out in the Gulf, sweeps right up the coast, and nails us. And it did on this trip as well. However, today, what you see in the video at this time is the very first time we got there. We got there that day. I think Linda and Rich had gotten there maybe an hour and a half before us. We got checked in, and then the first thing we did was ride. So this is their very first ride, and within a few minutes after getting there. Uh, this is a video showing you most of the dragon. Uh, the videos tend to get a little long, and people don't watch them all the way through, of course. But if you've ever ridden the dragon or wanted to ride the dragon, this will show you about, uh, I think, 7 of the 11 miles. Uh, give you an idea what it looks like. Now, we're not speed demons. The speed limit's only 30 miles an hour anyway. Of course, people go over that. But this is their first time to ride something like this, and, and we're not uh, speed demons anyway. We could ride a little faster, but uh, we don't. So you'll see, this will give you an idea, though, however, of all the turns. We're not going to do any of that, you know, high adrenaline stuff. It's about 20 minutes of about the first seven miles, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. I would highly recommend doing this if you ride. It's one of those bucket list items that you would always like to do. Uh, we've, Like I said, we've done it. My list and I have done it twice. It's something you should do. It's a lot of fun. And it's something, again, you can mark off and say, I've been there, done that. So here's a run down hill uh, going from North Carolina into Tennessee. Most of it's in Tennessee going from Deals Gap down to the bottom to the lake. And this is our first day for them, and uh, it's, it's a nice ride. Hope you enjoy it.
Well, that's about seven miles of the Dragon. Hope you enjoyed it. I think you should ride it if you like to ride. There's a lot of curves. Many are challenging. Watch for oncoming traffic. There was a problem a couple times with people coming across the line, of course. They're always trying to ride it as fast as possible to get some sort of adrenaline thing going on. And they will come across that yellow line on you. So highly recommend uh, watching that center line, especially in the tur turns coming towards you. One uh, Toyota Corolla who was really thought he was a sports car came across and came close to getting Melissa in one of those turns. It was a little scary. Some people just can't help themselves. They got to put their wrist in it or their foot in it if they're driving a car and they will come over that center line. So watch that. Just be ready to uh, take evasive action. But other than that, it's a lot of fun. I think you'll enjoy it. I would highly recommend doing it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.